I'm Mike Hirsch, and I'm fourth generation uh, fruit and vegetable grower, um, primarily fruit. My great grandfather started uh, planted the first peach tree in 1890 in the hills of Ross County with the first 90 acres. And uh, currently we're about 485 acres of fruit and vegetables. We're currently in uh, Pickway County. Um, this is Rhodes Farm. Um, I deal primarily with Brett Rhodes. He's a uh, owner operator. And this is 32 acres of sweet corn. Um, the Hirsch and Rhodes family have, have been together for many, many years, uh, dating back to uh, the second generation. And Brett and I are both fourth generation. Fourth generation farmer, second generation produce farmer, I guess is a good way to put it. Yeah, we grow a lot of what they call triple sweet varieties, um, which have about 75% more sugar than some of the standard varieties. So that's why most of the time we don't cook the we eat it raw in the field, which everybody thinks is kind of crazy. But after you have it, that's that's probably the best way that we like to eat it. So yeah, it's called a triple sweet. Uh, I developed a relationship with Jenny's ice cream um, through strawberries and then it has grown to other crops, um, I was asked uh, if, if we could do sweet corn. And so since I already do the sweet corn for our farms and markets, um, this just made sense. You know, you get to an age where you realize that you've made about as much money as you ever thought you were gonna make and you're still not happy. And I always knew what made me happy. And, and this was it, getting my hands dirty, being outside, you know, feeling the sun baking on the back of my neck. Um, and then we start talking about having kids and, you know, there is no place that I would rather raise a family than on the farm. To, you know, see my kids outside playing in the yard that I played in, back in the ditch, back in the woods, wherever. That's why you do this. You know, you don't do this for the paycheck. You don't do this for the portfolio you're building up. You do this for the lifestyle, and it's um, hopefully I'm passing that that on to my kids so that one or two or all of them will come back and continue.